and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have some self-study courses about manifesting your specific person. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to remind all of you who have been manifesting your desires for maybe a while or maybe not for that long, but who might still be wondering, where is my movement? Why am I not seeing any movement? And those of you who might be looking at the 3D perhaps obsessively at times, looking for movement and questioning things and worrying about things. And I want to remind all of you of one very, very important and fundamental principle of conscious manifesting, and that is whatever you create in your consciousness, whatever you create in your imagination actually gets created, it gets reflected in the 4D, in the fourth dimension, instantly. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So as you know, I coach a lot of people, I talk to a lot of people on a daily basis, and one of the biggest struggles that I have seen people face, and of course, I'm not immune to that myself, I know how that feels, I have felt that at times, is the whole struggle of when is it going to manifest in the 3D? Why am I not seeing any movement in the 3D? I've been doing my techniques for a while, I've been persisting for a while, and yet I don't see anything. So where is it? Is anything happening? Should I give up? Am I doing something wrong? And so on. And so I wanted to make this video today to remind you guys of the difference between what you're creating in the 4D and how it actually manifests in the 3D. Because you see, in the higher dimensions, in the dimensions that are not bound by time, space, distance, or anything like that, creation is instantaneous. And not just instantaneous, it's actually already finished. So essentially what you're doing as a conscious manifester is that you are selecting parts of that reality, parts of those potential realities that exist in the fourth dimension, in the quantum field, the field of infinite potential, the field of infinite possibility, however you want to call it, and you're aligning with them in your consciousness, you're accepting them as true for you in order for them to actually be manifested in your 3D experience, which is going to happen sooner or later if you sustain the right state. But the thing I want you guys to remember, which is very, very important, and actually I find it to be a big relief and very empowering when it comes to conscious manifesting, is that whatever you are creating in your imagination, whatever you're selecting in your imagination, and that goes for good, bad, and neutral, as far as the 4D, the fourth dimension is concerned, it's reflected there immediately. It's reflected there instantly. There is no time delay. Things manifest instantly in the 4D. And this is why we always say that there's always movement behind the scenes. Because in the 4D, what you have selected, the reality that you have selected, is immediately made manifest. That means if you're manifesting, for example, a specific person, and if you are in a certain state, whether that state is positive for you and serving you, or whether it's negative and not aligned with what you want, your specific person on the energetic level and on the subconscious level receives that instantly. There is no time delay. So if, for example, you're in a state of, I feel loved, I feel fine, I feel fulfilled, I feel content, they receive that energy from you instantly. They might not be consciously aware in that moment that they're receiving it, or they might be, but they will definitely receive it and they will definitely, definitely feel it. Same thing if you are in a defeatist state and if you're feeling like they don't love me, they don't want me, I feel rejected, I'm not confident, I don't think this is working out, I don't think this can be possible for me, they also receive that energy instantaneously from you. Once again, they might not be consciously aware that they're receiving it. They might not be consciously aware that they're getting that from you. Actually, this is how our world operates 24 seven. We all receive each other's dominant energies 24 seven, but we do receive it and we do receive it instantly. And so the reason why your 3D experience is what it is, 
is because what is dominant within you is either one state or another state at any one time. And so if you're dominantly in a state of feeling content, feeling fulfilled, feeling trusting of your person, of the situation, of the law, your person is going to reflect that back to you sooner or later. Because this is the dominant energy that they keep receiving from you. This is the dominant energy that keeps saturating their subconscious. At the same time, if they keep receiving that defeatist behavior and those states of I'm being rejected, I'm not wanted, this is not possible for me, this is too hard, and so on. Also, this is the main energy that they get saturated with subconsciously, and so this is what they will keep reflecting to you. And this doesn't only apply to people, it applies to any and all desires. Whether it's money, career, what you think is possible for you, what you don't think is possible for you, essentially, the energy that you exude, the energy that you project, aligns with the reality to which it corresponds in the 4D instantly. So please keep that in mind. Next time you start feeling like nothing is working, I'm not seeing movement, where is my movement, where is my manifestation, remember that whatever you create in imagination, whatever you create in consciousness, gets aligned with the corresponding reality in the 4D instantly. The reason why sometimes things take some time to manifest in the 3D, which is not always the case, sometimes you still have instant manifestations or very fast manifestations in the 3D, but there are manifestations that can take some time because the 3D is a denser world, it's a denser realm, and we are bound by time and we are bound by physical laws and all the limitations of the 3D, which is why sometimes for certain manifestations there might need to be some bridges that need to be formed. And so in such a case, maybe the desire will not manifest instantaneously, but still it is instantaneously manifested in the 4D. And as long as you sustain, for the most part, dominantly, the state of the wish fulfilled in relation to your desire, it is going to come to the 3D as well. In some cases, the 3D might need to adjust itself. It might need to rearrange itself. But the most important part and the most important factor is actually your consciousness. The more it feels like matter-of-factly, the less worried you are, the more relaxed you are about your desire, the more trusting you are that it's coming to you, the faster, the easier, and the more effortless it's going to be. And on the contrary, the more you battle it, the more you oppose it, the more you doubt it, the more you question it, the more it gets delayed from coming into the 3D. Because what you're doing on the 4D level is that you are aligning with different realities one after the other. So let's say for a few hours you're in the state of the wish fulfilled and you're aligned with that reality, but then the rest of your day you're aligned with a different reality, with the opposite reality, where you're doubting it, you're not having it, looking for movement, you're getting doubts that it's not going to happen, you're not trusting the process. And so essentially you are creating two different realities in the 4D, two opposing realities, which then delays it from showing up in the 3D. And this isn't to say that you should never waver, you should never doubt, that is not humanly possible, but cultivating that inner trust, cultivating that inner knowing, persisting in your state of the wishful field, revisiting your state of the wishful field as often as you can, doing your best to sustain it as best as you can, is going to bring your manifestation in the 3D much, much faster as well. But remember, no matter what the 3D is showing in this moment, what you're creating in consciousness and what you're creating in imagination is instantly made manifest in the fourth dimension and the higher dimensions. And this is something that I want you to keep in mind. This is something that will hopefully motivate you to keep going. And this is something that you need to draw strength from, even if you can't see it and sense it with your senses, because this is actually what you tap into when you get into conscious manifesting. You are using the 3D and its infinite potential in order to enhance, to improve, to change, to repair your 3D experience. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.